आई एम मिस्टर पी सी नियोगी टीचर फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट गर्ल्स हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूल शिलोंग टूडे आई विल टीच मैथमेटिक्स टू क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज चैप्टर सेवन कॉर्डिनेट जियोमेट्री एंड द टॉपिक इज सेक्शन फॉर्मूला सो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस आई टॉट यू कॉर्डिनेट जियोमेट्री डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला टूडे in continuation of coordinate geometry i will teach you the section formula so first of all let me explain about the section formula in section formula you will get this formula one is x equal to m1 x2 m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 y equal to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 now you see the section formula means a line which is divided by a point into two parts so in this formula there are two points one point is x1 comma y1 and another point is x2 comma y2 these are the coordinates of the points they are internally divided in the ratio m1 is to m2 by a point that is xy so let me show you this picture in this picture you see there are two axes one is x axis one is y axis you have the knowledge of graph paper the same thing is here so here in the first quadrant i have taken two points one point is a x1 comma y1 another point is b x2 comma y2 when you join a and b you get a line ab now p is a point which divides this line ab into two parts ap and pb and these two parts this is known as two sections okay so one is ap one is pb now the point p which divides ab into two parts you have to find out the coordinates of the point p and that is the section formula so here the coordinates of p are taken x comma y and this x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 and the y coordinate is equal to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 so i think the concept is clear for you so students let us proceed to exercise 7b in this exercise in question number 1 you see find the coordinates of the point which divides the join of a minus 1 comma 7 and b 4 comma minus 3 in the ratio 2 is to 3 so you see two points are there one is a one is b now in a x1 y1 that is why i have written here x1 is equal to minus 1 y1 is equal to 7 then you come to the next point b 4 comma minus 3 x2 equal to 4 and y2 equal to minus 3 then in the ratio of 2 is to 3 that means m1 equal to 2 and m2 equal to 3 now i will apply section formula x equal to m1 x2 
plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2. So you put the value of m1 that is 2 multiply what is the value of x2 it is 4 so 2 multiply 4 plus m2 that is 3 that means 2 is to 3 so m1 is to m2 m2 is 3 3 multiply x1 what is the value of x1 minus 1 divided by m1 plus m2 so m1 plus m2 2 plus 3 then you calculate 2 for the 8 plus minus minus 3 into 1 3 8 minus 3 by 2 plus 3 5 upon 5 equal to 1 similarly y equal to the formula is m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 now you put the value of m1 y2 m2 y1 so the value of m1 is 2 multiply y2 is how much minus 3 plus m2 is how much 3 into y1 y1 is 7 divided by 2 plus 3 so how much you will get minus 6 plus 3 7 is 21 divided by 2 plus 3 so 15 upon 5 equal to 3 hence 1 comma 3 are the required coordinates of the point P okay so that point P which divides the line AB in the ratio of 2 is to 3. This is your answer. Then let us proceed to another question. This is question number 2. You see, find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment joining. You see, when P divides AB or a point which divides a line, it can divide it can divide the line into two segments and these two segments may be equal may not be equal if these two segments are equal then we shall say that the point divides the line into a midpoint in a midpoint okay midpoint of ab Again, I am showing you. You see here, AB is the line. P is dividing AB. Now, this P, AP divides AB <coughs> in the midpoint of AB. <coughs> then, AP equal to PB. Therefore, M1 equal to M2. And at this time, the formula will be changed. <clears throat> see first of all i have written let r x y be the midpoint of the line segment pq <clears throat> here x1 equal to 7 y1 equal to 0 x2 equal to minus 5 and y2 equal to 4 okay see m1 is to m2 it is not given because these two ratios they are same so automatically the formula is changed without m1 and m2 so the formula is x equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 now putting the value of x1 <clears throat> this is 7 plus x2 is minus 5 divided by 2 plus minus minus 7 minus 5 by 2 2 by 2 equal to 1 similarly the formula of y coordinate is equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so 0 plus 4 by 2 equal to 4 by 2 equal to 2 
so you are getting x coordinate is how much 1 what is the value of y coordinate it is 2 hence 1 comma 2 are the required coordinates of the midpoint r this is your answer i think students you have understood that how to apply section formula so i have shown you two different types of sums and the rest of the sums you try it at home if you don't understand you follow the examples so you go through the chapter you will understand it better thank you